knots, 20 to 225 miles east-southeast of Nassau and the Bahamas. Top winds are 75 miles an hour, and it's moving toward the west-northwest at 7. We have just a little bit of an update on that, though. Uh, currently at 2 o'clock, it's 24.5, 74.1, and that is about 210 miles uh, from Nassau, east-southeast of Nassau and the Bahamas. That's about 400 or so miles away from, uh, from uh, Miami, Florida, for example. And as we go and look further here, we, uh, well, I wanted to show you the, where the warnings are. The warnings are up in the Bahamas. They include all the central Bahamas, and they include Eleuthera and the Abacos in the northwestern Bahamas, and all the rest of the Bahamas, including Nassau, Andros Island, Bimini, and so on, are under a hurricane watch. That uh, could be changed later as the hurricane draws closer. But let's go ahead now and see what we have. Uh, I want to show you the latest uh, satellite picture we have. And the center of circulation uh, picked out by the Air Force is right there. Uh, so it is underneath the overcast. The pressure went down to 989 millibars on that last report. And that is a little bit of a drop, but not much. It is not falling uh, very rapidly at all. We do expect, as this hurricane moves on, for it to get stronger. We expect it to curve more towards the north. And what we're advising people in the United States, uh, we are advising in particular those who live in South Carolina and North Carolina to be on the alert. And here we are looking at the infrared picture, and right there is, again, is that circulation center. Now let's see what we have out in the rest of the tropics. Uh, I want to show you Emily. Emily is uh, centered at uh, 15.4 or 57.3. That's 275 miles east of Dominica. And it's moving toward the northwest. It's in a kind of a weakened stage. Let's see the satellite picture there. And uh, well, this is actually Cindy up here. Cindy is moving straight toward the north. And we're glad to be able to say that because this north movement is going to take it out of the picture. And we don't think that's going to be a player, really, in the uh, in the Atlantic, it doesn't uh, appear as if it's going to affect any land areas. It seems to be uh, about to pass in a day or two east of Bermuda, we think. Right now, it's centered 960 miles, 65 miles southeast of Bermuda. The winds are 75 miles an hour, and it is moving toward the northwest at some 18 miles an hour. I think I said north a minute ago. It's actually moving uh, toward the northwest just a little bit. So those are the items we have on the tropics that are active. We have a little bit of a flare-up down here on the intertropical convergence zone. We're sort of taking a little bit of interest in that, but no sign of any uh, circulation out there so far. So our main concern out in the Atlantic, of course, is Hurricane Dennis. Dennis is a hurricane with 75 mile an hour winds, hasn't gotten any stronger in the last 12 hours or so. We do anticipate, though, it is going to strengthen some. We're not sure exactly how strong it will be, but we think that folks should be prepared to say at least for category two, and if there's any indication it's going to get uh, greater than that, we'll let you know in plenty of time. That's the tropics.